वुह अपडेट 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 सिटी नाइजर अबाउट अबाउट ए लाइफ चैट with the honorable commissioner for education dr joan of yahweh hmm. i spoke to her pa this morning before i dropped the notification and her pa assured me that madam will be joining us live that the commissioner will be joining us live please we need to get people that are supporting her People that are against her, the the masses to listen to her, and the comment section is yours for you to ask your question. I will try to call the PA now, and the call make a first send them the link, so that I make commissioner not to say you know see me oh because they are working for us, they are working for the people. And the people deserve to know what is going on in the education ministry. You know, anytime I say I want to do live, live chat like this, so I say no go. So I say go. You have nothing to hide. Why so I say yeah, but he go drag you. You know, but it is important for. It is important. For the people to know what is going on. Uh, first, let me appreciate my commenter that are here. Make I remove this um, by stars. Wait. Okay, make I drop this one. Please, can you just quickly share, like, and drop comments? Make I quickly hear you while we are waiting for the commissioner's PA to connect us. Okay, let me send this. Let me send the general broadcast. So that uh, even members of the opposition, no go talk say, uh, we don't know when about their life we fulfill as commissioner. Please, uh, PA, if the commissioner is here with us, please, I want to see comments. If the commissioner is here with us, please, I want to see comments so I can bring her live. You can even send invitation to join. And I'm going to be opening my lines for people to call in once we have the commissioner. We'll thank the commissioner. Small time first, oh, what to ask a question. And please, I will appreciate you can criticize. Ah, honorable commissioner for education. Doctor Johan Osa of Yahweh. Wait, make I just okay. She said, uh, Albert, I am here. Hey, Commissioner, hey, you know the dread, oh, <laughs> water, water for you. I'll try to. Okay. What is going on? I'm not seeing my guy on my audience list. Please, 
uh, madam, can you send us request to join? I don't know why I can't add you. Please send us request to join. Send me a request to join my life. I don't know if you are still here. I can't add you. Please, uh, the commissioner is watching us live. Mm -hmm. I suppose we add you like this. I don't know why it's not working. Oh. Okay, let me search you from the audience. I'm supposed to. I can't find you. Please, I don't know. Okay, I think I got all. Can I accept? Okay, let me accept Joy. Okay, let me Joy. Yes, okay, hey, Juliana, let me see. Ju uh, Julia Peter, can you send uh okay? Okay, let me bring, bring uh yes, I'm adding you now. Hello, Julian Peters. Can you Good hear me? Good afternoon, I'm Joy calling from Ogwa Secondary School. You are Joy. Hello. Can I bring, yes. wait, I want to bring in the commissioner. Are, are you with the commissioner? Mm, I'm in my school, I'm in my school. Okay, you are a teacher, you, you, want to, you want to contribute or what? It's just, I want to, I want to speak to the commissioner concerning the issue we have here in Ogwa Secondary School. Okay, don't worry. Let me bring let me bring the commissioner live first. Okay. Uh, be on standby. Uh, I will bring you back. Okay. All right. It's not and it's not everywhere I can I can see network. So I just move at the as in I'm inside the building. I just move to a place where I can get don't the worry. network now. Don't worry. Because... Sustain the life. Eh? Watch me live. Okay. I will bring you back after the commissioner speaks. Okay. Okay. Thank you right. very much. I'm um, adding you now, Julia Peter. Julia Peter, I am adding you. What is going on with network in Nigeria? I can't add you. Uh, Peter, Julia, Peter, I can't add you. I don't know what's wrong with your network. Let me try again. We need to know what is the apple for education ministry. <laughs> hey.
Oh. Please, is the commissioner watching us with a profile or what? I don't know why I can't add her. <laughs> yes, we are here. Finally. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, make I make I adjust my seat because I am not I'm here for Woto Woto. Uh, Honorable Commissioner for Education. Friends all over the world and those all over the world. PDP APC, Labour Party, uh, 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 YPP, Accord Party, your commissioner is here. Commissioner for Education, Honorable Dr. Joanne Osa of Yahweh. May we first clap for our commissioner first? Uh, commissioner, you are welcome to this live broadcast good and afternoon thank you very, very much thank you. can you thank take you. Um, the phone a bit far from your your face so that we'll see <laughs> still push us small still push us small uh -huh. that your hand there uh, not be related to the mark script you also you go use our own phone today <laughs> <laughs> commissioner you are welcome in fact in, in in 60 seconds greet your people first both those we're ready for you today first greet everybody before we go start good now good afternoon everyone i greet all of you i greet you now it's always a pleasure to come here before the people and uh, answer your tough questions thank you for having me today albert okay uh, Honorable Commissioner, I want to be sure that you have a bottle of water with you because the the water water questions are starting to fall out now. And you know, the last time we did this live uh, broadcast was during this the House of Assembly election, yes. where politicians I don't say you, you be technocrat, but now you don't do the system. You said that they do politics, that they do the game now because. You can't be in government and you are not active in politics. So that period, we interviewed you. You talked some things, and we could say you want to use English to bust our brain. We could say you make you break and down because now everybody that day here, and I don't know why people they find it difficult or they feel say enough porch to communicate in pidgin because now pidgin everybody they hear everybody so as they speak the big, big grammar you'll see they reduce you'll see you'll step on down with with their pigeon honorable commissioner first my first question to you how is your ministry doing your ministry give us um a brief overview of you, the activities of your ministry like where are we because the last time when we the last time when we interview you like this Things where you talk, we never forget. So tell us a be a brief uh, overview of your ministry. What is going on in your ministry? Because your ministry is trending currently. What is going on? Talk to us. Thank, thank you. I think uh, for Ministry of Education, uh, work is ongoing. We are as busy as ever. 
and you know say uh, governor baseki administration is winding down now abi and so for us in the ministry of education our focus now is to make sure that all the good work where we don't do the last seven years and counting say we mm. put in place a system that will continue that work so that they call them sustainability what is our sustainability plan so part of what we've done in the ministry of education based on the directive of his uh, excellency governor baseki was that we the ministry of education needed to be streamlined you know before now we they do everything you know when you do do too much they say jack of all trades master of none so yes. we can look at what be the core mandate of the ministry of education and the core mandate of the ministry now planning policy standards and regulation and then exam you know say we get three different boards where they manage different levels of education we get suburb now suburb they in charge of uh, both primary and gss we can't get the secondary education board where they in charge of the three years of secondary school of uh, secondary education then we can also get the board of technical vocational education and training they are also in charge of the three years of technical education in Edo, plus a library board that is there to support, you know, both this, the public and our schools. Mm. So with the streamlining now, we can't say with, if, if the boards are meant to be implementing policy, then ministry needs to focus and stay on its lane. So you cannot be doing what your board is supposed to be doing. Mm. So without my uh, thinking, we were able to now, the Ministry of Education uh, department before, we're up to 11 departments, and we had it by 185 people. So with this streamlining mm. now, we now only have four departments, four departments in the ministry, and about 60 uh, staff. The remaining staff, waiting happened to them? They're not sat them. We deployed them to our other agencies. So as part of this, preparing for the exit of the end of the preparing for the end of this administration governor also don't uh, create what they call directorate of uh, educational quality and accountability so now them mm. be in charge of monitoring schools now do you understand so they will mm. go monitor all schools both public and private so even even public school will not meet the minimum standards where ministry set they have the right to shut it down do you understand? Yeah. So they are also in charge of now managing private school. So we don't remove the management of private schools from the ministry so that the ministry can focus on the, on the technical job of uh, 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 making sure that our education system is running effectively. Then we also have a directorate of higher education. That directorate is in charge of managing all our, well, not necessarily managing, they're providing, uh, 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 developing the, uh, what do you call it? A, 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 a pathway, direction for our tertiary institutions. Do you understand? So governor, yes. with, all the, uh, with all the efforts we governor don't do for all our state-owned tertiary institution, we are not saying that it makes sense for our tertiary institutions to be adding value to the economy of Edo State. You understand? Dan, I ask one of our schools, I say, okay, what do they do? What, what, what is their contribution? How are they generating IGRO? They say that they sell water. So how can you be selling water to the community? That is not this, right. The school. Yes. The school is selling water. Yeah, so they should be giving the water free to the community as their own support. So instead of, because, you know, then uh, we also now set up a new agency called the uh, Agency for Mass Education. This one is sweet me away well for Bele because now with this agency, we are bringing back adult education. Do you understand? Mm. Adult education, mass literacy, uh, people will want to learn how to read and write, will not get opportunity before. Then all these young people will drop out of school after primary six. They go learn uh, tailoring, they go learn mechanic, but they don't know how to read and write. Will now provide that opportunity for them. Then also, all this uh, imagery, uh, street children away, full everywhere, uh, only cross. The agency don't they go meet them. They want to open a street school. Do you understand? To be able to teach them how to read and write. Then on top of that, we have now brought back what is called correspondence learning. 
you know in the olden days they used to have it all those that were people parents where go to school then many of them went to school through correspondence they were in nigeria in their villages and they're taking courses from the university of london or, or oxford or whatever so with, the, with this correspondence learning now it now also means that if you have a house help that is maybe 18 or 19 years old cannot go to school anymore you can you you yourself can be teaching them how to read at home or hire a private tutor for them so we want to make education accessible to everybody on top of that we can also say it's not enough to teach adults how to read and write, particularly our women. We must now also teach them financial literacy. How do you make profit? Some of our women, where they sell for market, they'll say they'll use their profit. In Bini, they'll say, Oh, you know, you're a Noreki fool. You know, we just say, Take, a, take one thousand naira there, go buy this thing for soup. Take this, you understand? then they don't really understand that in the process they are even depleting their capital so these are mm. some of these so we've created three agencies now in the ministry of education to further strengthen our education system we don't want to when governor basaki leaves office when we all when we all of us follow and come out all this work we don't do all these years make make we just go back to status quo again you understand in in many states in nigeria you have more than one commissioner of education okay really yes really? yes you have in some states you will have com uh, commissioner of basic education you will have commissioner of uh, tertiary education then some even can't get commissioner of uh, technical education wow three people so in a nutshell me now joan of your way i'm essentially doing the work of three people so when people they abuse me up and down, say that they call me, make I can't commission, make I can't do this, I know they're available. It's not my fault. Do you understand? On a daily yes. basis, I have nothing less than 15 meetings. This is not with my, my own ecosystem now. This is external people, old students, uh, communities, all kinds of things. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to let people know the work that we are doing in the ministry. So now where we don't streamline ministry, we don't get a little bit of peace in the sense that everybody now knows what they are supposed to do, mm -hmm. how they are supposed to do it. So the next step for us now is for each staff, what kind of training do we need to, to provide for them so that they'll be able to do their work well? See, if they do, if they really run education system well, everything where we they do starts with planning. Do you understand? All this Amagba, you, you get out from Amagba now. Do we have a school there? I don't think so. But if we were planning, we'll be able to follow the population pattern to say these areas in the next uh, few years, we're going to have this population of school age children. So that means we need to have this infrastructure, have that infrastructure. In fact, that's what the governor is trying to do now with this uh, Edo State uh, Regional Plan, Bini Master Plan, 50 year uh, economic plan. Because we have to plan, even our budget. If you ask me now, how much does it cost to train a child? I can't give you a, a concise figure. Do you understand? Even as, some even, of the things. Even as even as the Commissioner for Education, you can't give a concise figure of how much it will cost to train one child. Yeah, because we've not had, we've not had that, um, we've not had that structure or system in place. So these are some of the things we are now working on to make sure that in the Department of Planning, in the Ministry of Education, the people we are going to have there are planners, people who have read economics, people who read statistics, people who you understand, who are comfortable with numbers. So if you say, make a, I mean, I can give you an estimate. But I don't want to. So the next administration should not have to be dealing with estimates. Do you understand? Mm. Even data, data in Wahala. Do you get it? Mm. Earlier this year, I told my then director, she's no longer in the ministry, she has been deployed elsewhere. I say, I want to even know because governor tell us for 2021 that before I even end my tenure as commissioner of education there should be no child on the floor okay so i said write to all the boards ask them to give you how many children what is the furniture deficit 
because mm. we have been covering it. We've done, at least when I was in Subeb, we did up to 85%. I said, so it's, it's been a while since I was in Subeb. So let's know what the furniture deficit is. Do you know they sent me the report? The very first school on that list stated that they need 1,000 uh, double seater chairs. I said, well, mm. if, it, if it's 1,000 double uh, seater chairs, that means 2,000. So are you telling me you have 2,000 children sitting on the floor? Or you mm. are telling me you are planning to admit 2,000 new students? And then moreover, the number of furniture you say you need is more than the number of students you have. What is this? Do you understand? Mm. So, I, 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 so I asked the person all this question. And they said, oh, so sorry they didn't know i said but this is a very this is number one on the list so that is you know so sometimes yes we you know i'm the commissioner of education the responsibility lies with me but what people also need to understand is that the governor of a state cannot go around all schools do you understand so mm. at every point at every point of the at every point on the system there are people who are getting paid salaries just like I am getting paid the salary as commissioner to make sure that the governor's vision is implemented. So I was telling somebody the other day, now where every time where Joanne, or where to Agbe, Bedo, who won Agbe, won Agbe, now where when we don't do our work, what we see now is what happens. Do you understand? Because somebody is in a class where children are sitting on the floor. Where where is even that compassion? Do you? Understand? understand because mm -hmm. governor does not play with the welfare of teachers at the last uh, teachers uh, world teachers the october 5 the governor said teachers are going to get 13 more salary and they and they have that's a lot level eight is making almost one hundred thousand a month mm -hmm. almost one hundred thousand naira a month so if you're making that kind of money i expect you as commissioner of education that you will care enough about your pupils to be a strong advocate for them no nobody there's nobody if, if any teacher tells me they don't have my number my response is always you are not a serious person mm. because my number is everywhere i only have one number i've tried having two but i don't really like carrying two uh, answers with me do you understand so if a mm. teacher sends me a picture even if they reported to the normal channels nobody did anything and they sent it to me i would do something so they know how to send me personal requests do you understand and i do as much as i can to support so why wouldn't they send me so these are some of the so i'm not absorbing myself do you understand mm. i am saying that what has been going around in the last few days it's not reflective of His Excellency's Governor Baseki's strong commitment for education in the Okay, uh, okay, uh, Honorable Commissioner, uh, thank you for your time. I am a I am a friend of this of this government, even though I have I have jackpot, <laughs> I have seen <laughs> I have seen a, a friend of this government, and uh, I can still remember uh, I I followed His Excellency to one of your function at a new era i don't know how the yes. training your ministry did that period uh i saw tablets i saw some kind as in different things like different from a a, a, a town hall like something different from what we were used to and that very day i saw because i i finished from college of education at the law so me said me not teacher <laughs> me not me not train teacher. I do, I do teach practice. I do everything. Me not train teacher. Before I can go finish again for 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 AAU. So I I still get friends. I get friends. In fact, one of the viral videos, the one in your in your local government, uh, one day, yes. the first guy, the the fair the, the fair teacher there finished from. The, the fair guy, the commissioner, the House Assembly member was interviewing one uh, Edosa guy. Now, the fair all of us finished from a kind of law, College of Education, a kind of law. So, me, I got passion for education. 
You understand? I believe that is it's 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 just too important because the most painful part now when you see person where they're extremely intelligent and the person cannot read and write. Yes. And this person is very intelligent. So those kind of videos, those what it is, sweet us for body. No, with the reforms, with the trainings, with everything the governor has done in the ministry, why are we still getting this negative feedback? Like the two videos that we saw two, two, three, four, five days ago, the one in the one Ola Ozala or something, Ozala, the Ozala, 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 something. Ozala. Ozala. Then the other one I think is in Asia, where children were just were were receiving writing on the floor. In fact, I was heartbroken. Since that day, that's how they chase you, they look for you, they look for you. I was able to get you through uh, one of your one of your aid. Madam, what happened in that school, that Ozala? Why do we still have that kind of building? Why do we still have that kind of building? What happened in that uh, Asian, uh, uh, Asian school? Why do we still have children lie down the floor to, to learn in a those states? What, why? Uh, thank you. That's a very, very valid question you've asked us. Um, and let me start with the Ozala Primary School that is in Oonde. Yes. Oonde has please, about nine. Uh, one second. Let me make a break you. Please, if you are just joining, uh, we have our Honorable Commissioner for Education. Uh, hey, mama, push the phone small because with the way the phone ten near your face, you feel not a see. I come and say you not fine. You be old man. Hey, push that go from small. You know. Uh, hey, we have the honourable commissioner for education, Doctor Joan Osaoviawe. Many of you have seen training videos of uh, you know negative, negative things that they fly away where for our black community. Like for me to see support the government small i get to re request for pictures and videos of schools completed under our basaki and they they show me this this is open mouth and that video when i post trust me that video not go viral you know the one will go viral and uh, those kind of this not go viral you'll be like say we really like to showcase the good side of, of us and just the bad side everybody want to jump on so if you are just joining us please for us to get more people to hear directly from the commissioner. And if nobody will tell me that say are they are they talking? I know I not talking away. Please, I want to like this video, share this video, and comment. Somebody feed there now we get some one better question. We want to ask commissioner now feed there, but because we are not a sharer, you know, share. So we have over 268 people watching. And if we get another hundred shares, I'm sure we hit 500 people watching. And also drop comments. If you if you love what the commissioner is doing, say it. Forget the cyber uh, bully. Say it. If you don't like what the commissioner is doing, also say it in the comment section. So, Mama, uh, back to the question: Why do we still have such schools um, in a state where we have a digital governor like Obaseki? First of all, um, um, you have to know what we met when we came on when we came on board do okay. you understand when we came yes. on board we meant a lot of things that were not right yeah. again these, these are things that i mean it's taking decades for the system to completely decay and collapse mm -hmm. so you know i mean i don't think it doesn't need yeah. to take decades for us to fix it but certainly it's going to take a little bit of time so when we came yeah. on board we saw that vandalism was quite high do you understand um quite a number of the schools that were done under the red roof uh, revolution had been vandalized wow. you know that time they used the uh, alumaco they were using in fact there was even one case a pastor was arrested if the pastor paid somebody may they go remove the alumaco from one of our primary schools to put for your own private school do you understand no, so all kinds no, no. of that wait a pastor yes paid people yes to remove alumaco from government school to his own private school yes yes the case where that case went to court 
Do you understand? So we looked at it. I mean, they vandalized many of the schools. So we now said, okay, uh, Alumaco is expensive. And it's also a high theft. Uh, it attracts a lot of uh, theft. So let's go back to steel. So that was why, if you see now, all the all the uh, schools where we renovate under Obaseki, they we use steel windows and doors. Because the other thing about the Alumaco at the time that we discovered was when the children are playing, they are playing football. It will, they will break the glass and all kinds of things. But we kept the red roof. Do you understand? Even then, some people were saying, no, may we not keep red roof. May we do another color. This is a new administration. I said, no, we are trying to standardize our school. We are trying to standardize how our school looks. It doesn't make sense. You see now, for some of our schools now, one block will be red roof. Another block, if now, federal government constituency project, it will be green roof, okay? If now, another organization, it will be brown roof. So in one school, mm. color riot. Even furniture, one set of furniture will be plastic. Another one will be one sitter, two sitter, three sitters. I said, this chaos mm. is not acceptable. So the governor mm. gave us approval that we should stick with red roof. So that's why you see that all the renovations we've done is red roof. But because we also have small-minded people in our society, they are not claiming that because we use red roof, not the other second one. Oh. Say because oh you, do, do you understand? So even when we as a people we lament that there is no continuity, one administration when a new administration comes, they know they like to do what in the previous administration do remain. Part of the problem is also the people. So you have somebody like Governor Baseki who is trying to finish what he met on ground, like the Secretariat, for example, 40 years foundation, the Treasury has was for 40 years or over 40 years it was on foundation level governor came and built it some people are saying oh that now another person project is finished you, so anyway back to your question so we had to look so we started so we so we saw that that was a problem we now changed our material specification the other thing we noticed was that some of these contractors were building they're in a water system but they're not will connect them to the borehole I said, which kind of water system be that? You must, so, so we now develop standards that when we are building toilets, first of all, all pit latrines, we must convert them to water system. Wow. So if you think that in many of our urban areas now, urban and semi-urban areas, many of our schools, we don't convert pit latrine to water system. When we build latrine for, I mean, water system for one of our primary schools around the new Bini area here, do you understand? Mm. We, we, we've been all fenced the school before. All of a sudden, that school toilet became community toilet. Mm. We had to quickly fence it. And that was how I knew for the first time that the, the houses, they that area, we not get latrine at all, whether not pizza or water system. They not get latrine. In fact, there was a day I was going uh, monitoring a school, one of the primary schools in that area. In front of me, I hear part. Somebody Cheat for nylon bag, fly and move our fence. Now God save me that day. Okay, so this is what we are dealing with. So we had to quickly build a fence to protect that infrastructure that we had built in that primary school. The other thing we noticed, because we did a census, in fact, I will send you the information later. We did a census of all our schools in 2017 because governor said, he no will start any reform. He no will put money into education. If you don't know how many teachers didn't get, how many schools not get toilet, how many schools not get water, how many schools they dilapidated. So we did all of that, and we were working based on it. Before I left to bed, we did 400 schools. 400 uh, many, primary many, schools. 400. 400 primary schools. 400 or 40? 400 or 40? Zero zero, okay. 400. And then when we were even doing it, we all we we said no more pit latrine. We also said no more mud buildings. So every school we did that was mud, we demolished and built from scratch. If there Ooh. is anything, if there is anything I regret, is that we didn't commission anything. Do you understand? Wow. Because the governor, 
in his first year was like he doesn't like commission he doesn't want to commission so we also follow we did we just did the work and just kept going we just kept working we didn't commission but the people in this in these communities there was one now the man said he wanted to come and uh, um dash or something to time because we said no 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 support the school instead so we did we demolished more buildings then in 2019 governor said because we did a report all the schools that are dilapidated and schools that are dilapidated and that are not habitable that is dangerous to have children there so we sent people out in 2019 to go and meet communities to close down those schools temporarily that we wanted to temporarily relocate the children to the nearest uh, school so that we'll come back and do that school. In fact, some of the education secretaries came back, said they were almost lynched by the community. They said they're not going to agree that once they allow government to relocate their children, government will never build that school again. Mm. So, so we were in a quagmire. But then again, in 2021, the governor again gave marching orders to us that demolish. Do you understand? So governor mm. tells me demolish. I tell the next person under me, go and demolish. Do you, do you, do you, you understand? So it's a, it's a structure. So sometimes people do their, sometimes we do well, other times we are a bit slow. So what we have now is a wake up call because we have, we have a responsibility to all the children in Edo to make sure that they are, they are going to school in conducive environments. So that's, that's how we we that's what we've been doing in the area of uh, uh, infrastructure on the matter of Uwonde. I mean, that's my local government. Mm. Uwonde, Uwonde has ninety primary schools. Ninety. Okay? Ninety in primary total. schools okay. in total. It's probably the, I think, of their northeast or their southwest has a little bit more. Okay, in Edo State, the, the local government with the highest number of uh, primary schools are uh, uh, Uwonde, Ovia Northeast, Ovia Southwest, and Orion. Wow. Not even the population. Ego has about 18 or 20 primary schools. Mm. Yeah, Ego has about 18 or 20. And that's why if you, see, if you go to Ego schools now, you will see that maybe the average size of a primary school in is about 500. Whereas wow. in this other local government I mentioned, we get some schools where we say total population 19. Mm. From primary one to primary six. Do 19. 19. So assuming, you know, we have limited resources. Maybe it's going to do it. For that 19, now it's primary one to six. So you have to do six blocks of classroom. So assuming it's going to cost you uh, 20 to 30 million to do six blocks of classroom. Now, uh, a school with 19 children is dilapidated. School with 400 children is dilapidated. Mm. You have to mm. make a choice. Mm. Do, do you understand? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So these are mm. some of the decisions we, we do. So to be fair, because those in rural communities also deserve access to conducive learning environment. So to be fair, we do it by percentage. So what is total number of urban schools in a local government, total number of semi-urban, total number of rural or remote or river right? So we do it in percentages. So that way we, we, we can, you know, spread. So like I said, Uwande has uh, 90. Of the 90, 70 have been touched. Either full renovation, or we went there and uh, converted pit latrine to, to, to water system. Out of 90, so 20 now are in various stages of dilapidation. So when people come to me, because I'm from one there, oh, the way screamer, the way screamer, I try to explain to them that there is a process. Number one, I, I do not control suburb funds. I'm not the governor of the state, but I can give, give recommendation. And because the governor, nobody begged the governor when in 2016, the governor said if he has 100 naira, he will spend 40 on basic. And that was mm. how it best started. Because the governor understood that the foundation is important. If, the, if we don't get the foundation right, the rest is just a waste of time. 
In 2018, when I visited schools, no, 2017, I was a special advisor, basic. I went to primary six. I saw children who could not read. Primary six. And I remember, yes, and I remember asking, these children can't read. So how are they going to write their primary six exam? Nobody mm. can give me an answer. So those were the reasons why we introduced Edubes. Even at the secondary level now, in fact, this agency that I just told you about, the Agency for Mass Education, one of the reasons the governor approved it was because we discovered that we were now having overage children in our school. There was a case of a 19-year-old boy in primary six. Ooh, 19, 19. Years old in, in primary six. 21 years old in SS1, 14 years in primary one. So, the, so, so those kinds of children now, we will put them in a separate pathway because they are, they are over the age. Of, so what I'm trying to say, for us and under a do best, we are not just dealing with uh, infrastructure. We, we, we are dealing with infrastructure. We are dealing with teachers. For the first time since 2008, we recruited 4,500 Edo Star Teaching Fellows. Mm. Okay? For the first time since uh, 2012, teachers are get, getting special allowance every month, which is why they earn more than civil servants. Mm. We have also, when we came in, we discovered that parental engagement was very low. So we started in July 2018, we started an uh, open day. Open day is when parents come to school and meet one-on-one -on -one with the teacher of their child to, to go over their child's uh, work to see if the child is doing well or the child is not doing well. So when I became commissioner, one of the first things I wanted to do was to bring back some kind of, uh, you know, discipline into our system. I said, ministry, we must now have academic calendar and that academic calendar we will release it a year before so that whatever is happening in 2024, we already know now. One of our goals in Edo Best is to bring back values into our school system. So because of that, we've created what we call Social Impact Day. Mm. On that day, children from primary four and above are supposed to volunteer in, the com in their immediate community. There was a school the children, the students, SS3 students, they went and cleaned up the market in the community. The community people were so impressed, they dashed their money. Wow. Then these students on their own decided to buy buckets of pens and painted their block of classrooms. Wow. They said that, that was their gift to their school. Do you understand? So we are trying to bring back values. When we started, secondary school students were saying, school has come school nurse come go to any of our secondary schools now they are not saying the same thing anymore because we have we have we worked our uh, class timetable if it's first period english is the english they are teaching in oredo the same english they'll be teaching in gobazua the same english mm. they'll be teaching in ogona mm. so when i visit a school or any inspector visits a school if it's the fifth week of the term we know what what subject they should be teaching on the fifth week and if they are not teaching it that teacher is has a case to answer so these are some of the things we have done but it don't, it's not out there so people don't know we have also said we sat down looked at the nigerian national curriculum and and said okay how many subjects are we supposed to cover at the end of the term so we now broke our uh, timetable into the three, I'm glad you said you are a teacher, you studied education. You know the, yes. three, domains, the three domains of uh, learning, cognitive, mm. psychomotor, and affective. So now we said 62% of our school hours is for academic stuff. 22% is for sports and co-curricular activities. 16% is for teamwork, projects, you know, things, school clubs, activities that would build confidence in our students and our pupils. And so because of all this careful planning, we cannot guarantee that every child can get up to 400 hours of instruction time every term. Wow. What, what 
were they getting before? Even when I first came, my first time as commissioner, I was ah, uh, fourth week. You will ask children on the street that are in secondary school, what what have you studied? They say they have not. Oh, uh, we are Greek science in four weeks, just one subject. But that is no longer the case. You understand? And I want to also commend our teachers and executive principals, especially at the secondary level, because they are the, they are the ones we have been working with in the last one year of this uh, reform. You know, we have a bunch of over 400 teachers who write what we call scripted lessons. So that means the lesson note is centrally developed and pushed to every teacher. You can have mm. add your own but at least you have an idea. In fact, yes. uh, the secondary school people were giving me a report the other day, on Saturday when we were going to Ira. They said one of the school principals said to them that, ha, they had a biology teacher, the person left. So they didn't have a biology teacher. And then there was, so it was, uh, I think, uh, midterm exam time. That the uh, SS2 students, I think, they all went to our office, went to the principal's office, and said they are not going to write the exam. And she said, why? When did this one start? They said, well, they, don't, they were not taught, so they cannot write what they were not taught. Mm. So she said, ah, ah, where, where, what is this? When did, when did this start? And the student told her boldly that they have said the, the good thing. They don't want to go back to where things were before. So she now uh, uh, submitted a report to the board and there was now concern that is she in trouble? And the board told her, no, you are not in trouble. We are very happy to hear this. Do you understand? Yes. So students yes. are standing up for themselves. Parents also should stand up for themselves. By doing that, we will be kept on our toes. Whereas before now, maybe they don't have a biology teacher, nobody will do anything. And that vacancy will just be there like that. So now the board is scrambling to find where there is an excess teacher or find where they can get a new teacher and send to that school. So parental involvement is very, very, very important to us. At the basic school level, we started in 2018 a school-based management committee. In fact, when we did our first open day in July 2018, in some of our rural schools, parents were wearing Agbada to school. Mm. to meet with their, 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 their child's teacher because they had never done that before. Nobody had ever invited them to school. So they were not really part of the, the, the school system. So now we have made inter-house sports compulsory. We have made the excursion compulsory. We have now said every school, every class must take end of year picture. Mm. End of year picture. These were things we were doing before. Yes. Let's treat these people like human beings. We now also introduce a, a, what do you call it? Yearbook. Okay? Yearbook that they normally do in private schools. We have it in, in public schools. We brought, we introduce, we, we encourage our principals to do graduation ceremony. You need to have seen what they did last year. I was blown away. So this is what, so yes, we still have cases where things are not where we want them to be yet. But I want to say that those are the exception. It is not the norm. The norm mm. in our public school right now in Edo State is that majority of our children are learning, sitting on comfortable chairs in conducive classrooms, and they are learning. Honorable they are train that. Let me, sorry, let me just say one thing before I forget. Mm. Do you know, when, when I became commissioner, I looked around, our secondary schools had been abandoned for years. You know, in fact, across Nigeria, secondary schools are typically abandoned. Why? Because at the basic level, you have UBEC, the Universal Basic Education Commission. So they will put down a certain amount, the state government will match it. So because of that, mm. you find that many state governments were focusing on, on basic. Not much was done on secondary, but the federal government secondary. now has created a commission. But anyways, I came in, I said, what is going on? Uh, uh, we need to do something in secondary school. How do we fund it? We now, we now said, okay, we will, we will charge a flat 4,000 Naira levy 
4,000 Naira levy per student. Under no circumstances must any child be kicked out of school because their parents did not pay the 4,000. Mm. Do you know how bad the money was collected by the school and utilized by the school? So at the end of last academic session, when the secondary school board reported back to me that the schools collected over 700 million Naira, I was just shocked. Wow. Yes. So that's why if you go to our secondary school today now, it's in good order. They are dilapidated. We, we, are just, to... we, we, we just 4,000 naira. Yes. They were able to achieve that. Yes, yes. Because that money went into the school. It didn't come to the commissioner. Do you understand? Ooh. Nobody is coming to, 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 to uh, what do you call it? Nobody is coming to make remittance to me. I said, if principal, if you want to enter trouble, take out of that money. The, so even even in some schools, parents were now willing to do more because they saw what, what, the, what the teachers were, the principals and the school was doing with 4,000 Naira. Many schools now in our secondary school, they have slasher, they have no lawn mower. You understand? So what we want to focus on now in our, particularly in our secondary school, is to completely fill that uh, gap in teacher vacancy and infrastructure. So these are the wow. things we are doing. Every Wednesday is sports day. Go to any of our secondary school, any of our schools, really, and see what is happening. Friday is the extra co-curricular co day. See what they are doing. And the confidence they have. We treat them with respect. We treat them with dignity. Honorable Commissioner, uh, thank you very much for your time. It's a great privilege for 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 us to have this conversation because normally i am a a, a, a roadside journalist i'm not a, a, a journalist when i'm, when I'm a roadside mechanic but uh, social media is now is now a very powerful tool that if you don't engage with the people like this <laughs> you'll be do, you'll be putting putting in everything to make the system work and oh you see this one that's not give the drive, that's not money because they keep they keep seeing the, the negative side of every system. Like I told some persons yesterday, when I say I want to try track commissioner for education. You know, they say hey, that one, no, I beg you, no, no need, no need, you know, because they seen that uh, uh their school, they seen that uh, school in uh Isham. I want to ask you this question. I'm sure we still have. Do we still have schools like that one in Asia where the children learn by just lying down on the floor? Do we still have such schools? Because with that video now that is everywhere circulated by eight people who circulated in our position, like no be all by second what here and they school and dog and school and dog, you know. Do we still have schools? Because that one is supposed to be an eye opener for the boards or people that are supposed to move around to check if we still have schools, if we still have some schools. And two, madam, the teachers that are paid, like you just said, uh, level eight under Obaseki is over, over be almost a hundred k. We have teachers in this in the school. Is it that they reported to the ministry or to the agency or to the board or to whoever is in charge, and nothing was done? If they reported. Why was why was uh, the ministry okay? Why did people act if they never reported? What is the ministry going to do to sanction those teachers? So um, the way it works is that ministry don't deal with teachers directly. Oh, it is the boards, oh, yeah, the that manages boards. their own, that manages their own teachers. So I have so we've we've called a meeting now of all the board heads and the education secretaries to understand what happened who dropped the ball do you understand i gave you i gave you an example earlier about the, my own uh, you know my own attempts in earlier this year may june where i asked i want to see the data on the def financial deficit and i couldn't make any headway so again we have to clean up our house. So, uh, we have to be... furniture. Wait, mother, can you break that English? You said furniture deficit. You couldn't get a headway. Break out that small to, uh, you know. Okay. 
So, uh, what did I mean be say? How many children not get furniture for school? Do you understand? <laughs> uh, so, when you oh, ask oh. that question, mm. eh, mm. you can see all kinds of figures. Mm. I gave you an example just and say one school, they tell me they need 1,000 more chairs. Mm. So, so, again, I'm not, not happy with what is happening because, you know, it does, it's not reflective of all the governor has done mm. or all that we have mm. done. Mm. But on the other hand, I also see, it's a, 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 see it as a, what did they call it? Silver lining. Because now, when commissioner, they shout, shout, they go up at that, everybody be awake, be alive to your responsibilities. Do your work. Do it well. Pay attention. It's no longer that, oh, you don't come again. You know, you just want to create problems. You mm. understand? So we are, mm. we are going to be having series of sections. Apart from that, I was sent pictures today. It, before I even came on this, uh, on this call. Furniture where we distribute about two years ago. Some don't they, some day outside. They outside classroom. I, I, I was so heartbroken. I'm like, come on now. Do you understand? Some of our school here, depending on the level where they they are earning almost 200,000 a month. Oh, okay. In a door. Yes. So if you are earning that kind of money, uh, uh, screw command for furniture, you are waiting for me now to come and tell you, just get the carpenter to screw it. If you even ask around, I'm sure there's even a, a parent of a child who will be carpenter that can do it for free. I saw those pictures. I'll send them to you. I was just like, what is this? Do you understand? So, so there are, there are different layers to the problem. Of course, uh, the public don't see all of those things. They don't need to see. That's why we are here. That's why I was appointed the commissioner. So I can't, I'm not complaining. Let me just make that clear. I'm trying to basically explain all that is happening, what we are doing. It's not as if we are not doing anything. Just as we have very dedicated staff that make my work as a commissioner very easy. Yes. We are very difficult human beings who are not interested, no matter what you give them. And the Ooh. governor has done a lot. He has done a lot, more than anybody else in recent times, in the education ecosystem. And so you can Ooh. imagine for such a person what it would feel like to see video of children kneeling down. Who, who does that? You, do you understand? Why weaponize those innocent children? They were already victimized because they were in, a, in, a, in an environment that was not conducive. Then you victimize them for that by asking them to kneel down in such a gratuitous manner just to make a cheap political point. Hmm. So, uh, you know, yes, we are political appointees. We are public servants. We deserve to be criticized. But I also think that even as we are doing this, as a society, we must also, you know, demand a minimum uh, uh, behavior, level of decorum for, from, from citizens. Hmm. Who does that? We don't need any child to kneel down to beg before government does what it's supposed to do. Let me tell you, in 2018, I went to school, rainy season, children were shivering and they were eating uh, all those uh, homemade ice cream. Mm. I said, what is this? I said, Natisha, they sell them. If they're not buying them, they will enter trouble. We stopped all of that nonsense. People come and tell me, I didn't see. People who come and tell me, say, oh, you will say thank you. That before now, men or children they break for school. Do you understand? Before now, house boy and house girls, right? They go public school. Now, even parents are now writing me, I beg commissioner, I want my picking go and roll for it to our girls. They're not want to admit and they say they're not get space. What can you do? Can you intervene? And I'm just like, wow. So I live to see a day where parents are even struggling to move their children from private school to public school because they feel that what is happening in private school is a better option for their children. Hmm. Commissioner, thank you very much. I'll keep thanking you because uh, I'll be coming with uh, AK, AK for the way they knock and miss a get conscious, you know, I, uh, we'll, be, we'll be human beings because I understand that human beings are very, very difficult. Even in my small corner, even in my small corner, to manage people, na big issue. 
I want to commend you because you can see the comments. You can maybe later after we end this live chat, take your time. You will get the, the real feedback from the comment section. I can tell you because I, they took out for the comments. We are seeing positive, positive um, uh, responses and feedbacks. Maybe because of your of the way you don't take touch in 2019, 2016, 2017, they quote it as it should say, you are on ground. You don't just be commissioner what they call attendance school, fire tea, one shop, look for property to buy. You, you get on ground and you get passion for this thing, which means no say, if God don't get money, if I don't get the kind of money where other state gets, I did very sure say, you know, we won't be like this, but the man has done well. The last question I want to ask you, maybe you will just touch touch out with A U B matter because A, like you said, your 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 eye there everywhere. You they do the work of three people. You understand? Where our senators, our House of Rep members, because I know say one time House of Assembly members they figure do constituency projects. I don't know whether they still do them or or they, they submit. Then they submit their schools to your ministry or to the boss where they're in charge to handle. Our senators, as of reps, we get we get political appointees at the federal level. When we say with the system before now, they, they, they be the commission projects, the commission schools they do. Where do they come in to also support state governments? You know, because I believe the three senators we have in those states. If they pull heads together and about 11 or 12 hours of reps, then they push the way government they push. And then we should say any school supposed to go down there, they say this, they'll say the school not get uh, furniture. Where do they come in? Then you can't touch out with what is happening in AAU. And that will take close the day. Okay. So for our uh, National Assembly members, I think. Mm. You know, uh, they just came. They just came in now. I think the, earlier this year. No, no, let, let, no let's no, let more, more, more do with the the immediate past, the immediate past, uh, because they've been there. They were there for eight years. So you, you know what they contribute, and you know that the immediate past. More never to do with uh, these so new ones now. For for immediate past now, for example, I know somebody like uh, Senator Clifford Odia. It was on a house committee on a, on some house committee mm. on something. Anyway, because it was in that committee, you know, tell me when people for Abuja and I tell me mm. so because of the fact that I was sharing that committee, a uh, state was now selected eh, uh, to represent South South for this uh, skills. The uh, federal government they give grants to six abi uh, seven states mm. to, to to improve. Uh, technical and vocational schools so mm. because of his own involvement in that committee edo state was selected and because mm. of that now Bini technical college usubenu technical college era and igara technical college Akoko Edo, are going to benefit from what they call it uh, ideas um, program so it's a grant to edo state to support those three schools mm. then uh, at various times i don't have i know some of the legislative they've done primary schools in their constituency or they've distributed computer they've distributed notebook the only thing when i would say is that the way they do it even though we've written to them in the past when i was in suburb we wrote to them we say please let's work together do you understand yes. what some of them were doing is they like to do schools along the way mm. where everybody will see mm. do you understand mm. so we had a case in a Okay, I'm trying not to make this political. We yes. had <laughs> we had some school, we had a couple of schools where you will get like extra classroom, like 10. Because so the way that they do this, they, they just get the uh, the contractor comes from Abuja. So they like to they, they always get this, I call it a Nicodemus move. <laughs> They'll either come during uh holiday. They'll just come before you know, they don't build that, they don't come out. Uh -uh. Do you understand? So when yeah. you are now asking, you will now, oh, is this person, is that person? And then you now try to tell them that, please, if you had told us, there's another school that needed this 
intervention, not this one. So we still have wait, that wait, challenge. Wait, 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 let me break, let me help you because me, uh, me, uh, I will love you, I understand this this part. The the Nicodemus moves is political. What they do is this: it's not really by along the road. They they take projects of where they will get votes. Like they will say, so so word. We are going to a best school ever. A vote is here, ever. A vote is okay, ever. You know, so I make I help you break them. Eh? Make I help you break. Say a word is not. Eh? Oh, oh, no, but. They say social so school, no so community. The school say no. It, that word na about to say word. You don't get how many school you will be for there. You don't feel winner. So <laughs> there's no point going there. So I understand the policies. So mama, continue. <laughs> <laughs> well, say thank you. <laughs> so we must we must remove politics from education. Mm. It's important. Yes. On AAU matter, in when the governor went there to hold a town hall in March of this year, he mm. set up a reconciliation committee. I'm even on that, so I'm on the in the committee. The Honor J of Igwe Ben is there. Uh, the president of the AAU Alumni Association is on the committee. Uh, there's one bishop in the Ekoma community is there as well. And then we now co-opted the acting director general of our directorate of uh, higher education into that committee. So the committee is now, we are meeting with all the different stakeholders of the school to understand what the issues are. Coincidentally, yesterday we met with parents, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. forum of uh, parents of medical students, you understand? So they also have their own issues. And we try to make it clear to them that uh, in AAU right now, there's a problem. The school over the years over admitted medical students mm. against the slot they have. I think they have about 100 or 150. And they have thousands. So I wow. try to make the parents understand that this is a problem that uh, indicts everybody, whether management or parents, you know. This uh, you know, we also live in a society where when people ask you for favor and you tell them is you can't do it or it's not possible, they will not listen. Do you understand? So is this help me? My child must study medicine. My child must enter, put, they, are, they, 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 they admitted all these children. Now we are faced with a situation where, you know, like I made the parents to understand, for us as a ministry, the mental health and well-being of every student is paramount to us so we, we we've asked them to submit in writing all their issues everybody we've spoken with uh, i think today or tomorrow we are meeting with uh Hasu and jack so once we've interfaced with all the um, uh, stakeholders in the school community we will now do we will meet with them in, all of them together and see where we can you know come to a negotiate an alignment you understand? And then um, submit our findings to His Excellency and recommendation. What is very clear, I should use this opportunity to also say, is that His Excellency is very, very keen on restoring the school back to, you know, having a governing council, having a substantive um, vice chancellor. Any moment from now, the advertisement for announcing the vacancy of a vice chancellor will be out, if, 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 not, if not already out. Let me just clear, it's not the ministry. We are not the ones that hire. So the school has this, this set up already that does that. I think it's the governing council or the school management. So that's where we are with AU. Our goal is to at least de-escalate all, all the tensions in the school before the end of the tenure of this administration. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Commissioner. We won't come on. Leave, we won't leave you now because uh, I did very sure say you, you get a lot, a lot on your desk that you need to do. I want to thank you. I want to appreciate you for your good work. Continue to do your your good job. At least over two hundred people for a broadcast of over one hour. You understand? So that's a a lot. That shows how the interest, the interest, and the um, that that shows the level of uh, uh, of a uh, love they have for education to work in our dear states. We we'll continue to push you, continue to ask for more. As they push you, they carry you come life. That's what you say. We'll still they go. They meet governor. Say 
Your Excellency, they are dragging us. If you get any to go, you need to see put right. You go do it. So in, in 30 seconds, what's your plans for Allah Odaro? Allah Odaro. Um, what's your what's your ministry what's your ministry's plan for Allah Odaro? Because this is the governor's uh uh all you were before handover last year. What's Imagine your plans up. for I, I think this is probably the last one. The last uh, Allah Odaro, yeah. This is uh and uh from the plan so far, they get all the feedback and they get all the this thing. It's gonna be very, very thick. What's your ministry's plan? I don't say you the I don't say you go for mobilization because the last time we wanna do education education week, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Education yeah. Edu education week, the stadium. Uh, hey, what's your plans for what's your ministry's plan for allowing that really 30 seconds? Well, the governor has told not only my ministry, all the MDAs, that we must be ready to face the people in a town hall format and mm. tell them what we have done and what the plan for the next few years we are leaving behind. So mm. if, you see, if you see us now, it's not easy for a state government to, it's not easy at all. So we are all working and uh, it's, it's meetings, strategy sessions, all kinds of things. So mm -hmm. we are looking forward to telling the good people of Edo State what we've done so far in education and the plans we have for the state going forward that the next administration will take, take up and hopefully uh, implement. Oh, thank you very much. It's a wrap. Uh, the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Dr. Osa Joan. Of Yahweh, nice having this live chat with you. With you, anytime I drop notification, uh, I want to let me more than today. We know they too harsh for you, but you just, we just want you guys to be talking to us because not be every time will be ITV channels, yeah, <laughs> AIT. You know, sometimes <laughs> come on life like this because people are watching us across the globe America, Canada, everywhere. People will still wake up later, even after one month. Two months, one year. The, the the update should be here for people to, to hear everything. So we thank you, Honorable Commissioner. Was it try our best to extract you? At least once in once in two months, once in three months. Let me say that when everywhere don't cast like this, you call it come out. Once once if you have time, you have 40 minutes. Oh yeah, how about we we'll get update to we'll get some schools? You're going for at least make one and six try for now do new to one of the commission. I tell me personally send message to God and say. Where where we can see, I'm going to stage it. We can see it. You wait, 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 wait. Stop signing. Sometimes I give the doc the this is for me for me that me that you that street fold your sleeve, you know. So and I believe this this dry season, me not to worry you, but I will worry the commissioner for for works, uh, roads and bridges. So mama, thank you very much thank for your time. Thank we you. We appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you so much, Abba. Right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Right. Bye. Right. So, guys, I don't know if you pick call again, though, because my phone already beep low battery. I just did on 5% to go now. I don't know if you pick calls again. So, next time we do this, I'm very sure you are impressed with uh, submissions. You understand? For me, I've just come here say, but. I don't say no easy. I don't know the rich state like that. Too. Even in South South. I don't know they are among the top five richest states in South South, not all of Nigeria. So now what did they let the man go let the man go do? If our House of Rep, our senators are not playing politics, you just wake up, go build school for for where people they're not saying now now building the final. Maybe that school now they need more uh, 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 materials. Maybe that's all they need. Writing materials, you know, you just go there and go push school because you want to use a campaign. So the our senators, our reps, our people for Abuja, all those APC people, they need to they work, they need to work with the those state government to say, yes, let's see. I want I want to do 40 schools, I want to do 20 schools. We are will never reach. Well, I know they only do one because uh, they want to prove for where they will get votes. So for those when they do video, people they learn for granted. Trust me, Governor Basa cannot fit part, not fit sit down. Say, make those children day like that. The question would they ask? Say, how many times the principal or whoever is in charge don't write to ministry or write to the board to say, ah, these children are grounded, they lie down, or whether they have to do that video, say, remove all the chairs. or yeah, I made a lie down for granted. Do video now. Next year, election year, we will see many drama. 
We're going to see many drama next year. They are doing everything to reduce the government's popularity. They are doing everything to demarket him for their men and say, if governor continue to remain popular like this, it, that means anybody where governor support, they're going to win. So let's do everything to reduce supply. That's what they are doing. I know their game. And uh, they do want to show more. They do want to show more. Pastor Isaiah Yamu, social media boys, they do want to show more. Where were 2015 to 2016. Now me drag or out. Now me help or show more. So I will gladly still do it for a bini man. I will gladly still do it for a bini man. Oh, yeah, oh, man. You understand? I do want. Because what is good is good, what is bad is bad. I do want to say, ah, oh, oh, somebody, oh, 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 Eh, go secretariat. Go uh, uh, two months. I don't be talk. Go no work. He does not like the state. He take us to another level. So before this, my phone will go off. See you guys later. Share this video. Drop comments so that make people where they wish the government bad. May they see the video. You when they support the gov the government, you will love the state. You want the state to work. Share this video. Drop like. Just click the like. Click. click, click. They don't they pay. I know I school for stars now. Don't they pay put. So see you guys later. But don't forget to oh, me and you when we they get down for UK. Oh, we they get down. Now say the outside I did so can't do video. I get us so it's a motto that I did so it's a motto. It's our motto. Thank you. Bye.